English has some weird construction sometimes, and one of these is the adverbial noun phrase. So I have two examples here. The first one is I did the same assignment last year, and the second one is the sliced lunch meat costs three dollars a hundred grams. Now, if you look at a couple of phrases here, so we have last year and we have a hundred grams. Uh, what you can see here is that they end with a noun, so year and grams. Uh, and then we have a few modifiers. Last is an adjective. And uh, is the article, a hundred is also an adjective. But there's no preposition with this phrase, right? It doesn't say during the last year or for a hundred grams or per a hundred grams. So that's a bit odd and it makes it a little tricky to diagram. How does this phrase relate to the rest of the sentence? Well, let's diagram each of these two sentences quickly. What you can see then is that we've taken the adverbial noun phrase and in each case we've put it under the verb that it modifies. For example, I did the assignment when, right, last year, so it describes when I did it. And then because there's no preposition here, we've left this line blank, so no, nothing over here. Uh, then we have the noun and we have any modifiers underneath in both instances looks a little bit like an indirect object, but it is an adverbial noun instead. Uh, and that's basically how you deal with these odd little constructions. You place them under the verb that they modify, uh, even though it might seem a little bit odd, especially in the second instance. And this is something that you'll see particularly with, with expressions that have to do with time or age, distance, weights and measurements, and directions.